what is going on, Dice Rollers? It's Paul here, and I'll be your DM for a little while. Uh, today, I want to share with you a GM session worksheet that I created, uh, and it is currently available on DriveThruRPG. Pay what you want, uh, link down in the description below. Uh, but of course, you can make your own if you'd like. Uh, but if you want to support the channel, go ahead and click that link down there and just pay what you want. I think I put an average like 99 cents, something like that. Something super simple. But I created this GM uh, session worksheet so that GMs and DMs like uh, yourself and me can uh, have everything uh, really close by without having to dig through a lot of books or tons of notes or things like that. And, uh, and so I created this uh, for you guys and I thought I'd show it to you and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, so I am running... Um, a Pathfinder Adventure Path right now, and I'll be showing you this, uh, which is the Adventure Path, uh, which is Strange Aeons, the Thrushmore Terror. Uh, this is book two that I'm running with my uh, crew right now. They're doing pretty well, and so I'll be basing it on that. Uh, at the top here, you'll see here my checklist, right? Simple checklist. Do I have everything? And by the way, if you'd like to know what I have in my uh, travel box. Uh, uh, there's a link above there where you can click that and see what is all in my box uh, that I bring with me. And I talk about how it's drastically changed from the first time uh, till now and how I have scaled down. So if you want to check that out, feel free. But these are major things, dice, figs, maps, markers, books, paper, you know, those kind of things, the necessary stuff. And then I start to break down uh, all the components that I feel are necessary for my games. Once again, you if you create your own sheet, you may create uh, different boxes of what's important to you. Uh, so let me go ahead and just scale down here, and we'll look at the key NPCs. Now, this is based on session. It's not based on the whole book. It's not based on the whole campaign, because I wanted to create a sheet for that session. What is important for that session? Because as you and I both know, um, you know, people can get derailed and uh, you yourself can get derailed uh, by thinking about a hundred other things that are going on. So I've tried to keep everything uh, in one spot where I know I'm, I'm going to focus on these things. So I have uh, Susadia Rents. She is the leader of a group called the Sleepless Agency, which I find to be very, very cool. It's kind of, a, uh, it doesn't go into great description, but I, I think it's uh, more of like a, a, like a private uh, detective agency. Uh, I would make them probably more of a supernatural agency of some kind, because of course they never sleep because the supernatural never sleeps. And then Winter Klaska is going to be kind of the guide, uh, which helps the PCs find the town and uh, kind of introduces them, and then she goes off and does other things. But I, I like Cecilia Rents because uh, she's going to be kind of the, uh, I think I'm going to make her the contact person uh, that's going to go through all that. Uh, in my Monsters and Foes, I know that I'm going to have, uh, you know, just a few combats in that session for a two-hour, three-hour session. And... Uh, uh, one of them is uh, Daradella Cornette, and she is a witch. Uh, she is known as the Witch of Dreams. And you notice I just put all her stats there. And um, and then, uh, uh, you know, what she has as far as melee goes, uh, she's got a Masterwork Spear plus seven, which is cool. Uh, and they're also going to be facing some uh, fungal wolves, uh, which they are... Uh, fairly disturbing and they are, uh, can be deadly. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, there's two of them that are going to, they're going to be facing. Uh, as I go down here and show you some more, uh, these, once again, these key spells and special abilities are based on the foes that I have for that session. Um, because that's just how the, how I believe so many pages, right? You kind of gauge yourself based on how many pages, if you run pre-constructed adventures, you kind of know how many pages you're going to go through until, it, you know, unless it goes off the rails. Uh, but the key spells that uh, our, our uh, Dream Witch has there, uh, the Witch of Dreams, she has Call Lightning, so I want to have that down there. Uh, Summon Swarm. Um, she has Flame Blade. Uh, cure moderate wounds, cure light wounds. So those are the spells that I'm going to focus on because how many times have you tried to run something and you totally forgot about special abilities, what spells they wanted to use? So these are my key spells. I'm not worried about anything else. These are, This is what she's going to you know, use in that combat. Now, as far as special abilities, uh, she's got Wild Shape two times a day. And if you can see there, I wrote it down really small, but 
to the right there, uh, it says Raven and Dire Hyena, which uh, I haven't decided which she's going to get. She doesn't get to do both, of course, but if she is going to try to escape, uh, I've given her the Raven. If I think she's going to fight, if she gets cornered by the PCs, then she's going to do Dire Hyena, and that's who she's uh, what she's going to do. Um, and so for the poison spore cloud that the uh, dire uh, that the um, uh, fungal wolves get to do, um, I wanted to write that down and make sure I got that right. It lasts ten rounds, which is really long. Fifteen foot radius, uh, fortitude save of sixteen. Uh, fail. Uh, means that they get 1d2 con damage plus fatigue for one minute. That's however long they stay in the cloud, they have to make those those saving checks and those rolls. So that is page one of my GM session worksheet. Let me go ahead and flip it over. The second sheet that I have here is starts off with character spotlight. Now, I put that on there because from... You know, from play session to play session, I want to make sure that uh, characters and players uh, get their get their spotlight. They get their time. And in this particular uh, adventure path, it works really well because there are several instances because uh, where everybody gets their shine because um, the adventure unfolds where the characters don't know who they are. Uh, and so they're back in this town where they actually came from, uh, and then they start figuring out who has done what dastardly deeds. And so each character kind of gets um, gets their shine. But I put on here more attention on Zora as a brawler because you know brawlers, you know, depending on the adventure, if they're they're great in barroom fights, maybe. And other, uh, so I'm going to look at more melee type things where she can really use some of her skills. Uh, and then I'm also going to spread attention among the PCs throughout Thrushmore, which is what I just described. Uh, extra NPCs. These are NPCs that are not necessarily key characters, but those are the ones that I can, so I can remember their names, who they're going to visit, and uh, go from there. Uh, then I have key locations so I can remember exactly where we're going. Thrushmore is the name of the town. Iris Hill is where they're uh, where I think their big showdown is probably going to happen. The Sleepless Building is where the Sleepless Agency is. Uh, Pier 19 and Fort Hale Court, which is going to be also going to be a major, uh, a major combat area. Now I have Plan B. Who doesn't need a Plan B? So I'm going to Plan B, and just about if they get off course, if the characters go someplace, I'm going to include uh, the Sleepless Agents to either rescue or lead the PCs in some way. Because I really, the, when the characters walk into the session, walk into um, the sleepless agents, there are several agents there. So I may have those agents spread out in various locations that they're gonna, they're gonna meet somebody because they're investigating maybe a similar thing and help them stay on track. Not necessarily to railroad them, but to say, look, if we're gonna go over here and you guys wanna go, that's great, but I'm gonna put reminders there where they can know that there's something they're supposed to be accomplished. Otherwise, uh, terrible things are gonna happen to uh, Thrushmore there. And then finally, I just have a little notes page. Uh, I'm gonna play up the kidnappings and the kidnappings are happening because they want to take over Thrushmore and usher in uh, terrible Cthulhu creatures. And then I'm also going to offer clues to the cult of Haster that they're being watched and there's going to be um, things going on there where they're eventually, the, you know, if the, if the PCs get too close to anything, uh, then the cult of Haster is going to have to... Uh, uh, step in and try to take them out. So, but uh, that's it, guys. That is my GM worksheet here. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I hope that uh, you have something for yourself. I hope that you don't uh, are you know are, are you know you may have scraps of paper or whatever you may be uh, having to do. Uh, but I hope that this little session here has either inspires you to create one of your own. If you do have one of your own, I would love for you to just uh, leave me a comment down in the section below and let me know. Uh, that you have one that you or what you use to stay on track or maybe you use nothing maybe you just go operate completely out of imagination and you don't have any notes whatsoever so but hey listen if you're new here and you enjoy the content here be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button hit that bell so you know when i upload something and if you're interested in this particular gm worksheet well by the way there's a link down below you can go check it out at the drive through rpg and uh, grab your GM worksheet session sheet. So thanks for hanging out today. Appreciate you guys being here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.